Just the rush. Right. You gotta be halfway just in case. Good job, Shane. Good job, Shane. Way to pick it there. Way to pick it. Get started, get it started. Vinny, on that play, um, you had a little stolen base situation. You were very alert to the fact that the runners were going and you're on top of the play. Make sure that you're guarding against getting too far sucked into the play at third base. Uh, you need to be aware that you have a trail runner there. So there's a runner at first base that wound up going to second as well. If there wound up being a play at second, you would have been very close to third and it would have been tough to see that play into second base. So obviously you want to show instinct and you know the play is going to third, but you need to make sure you guard against getting sucked in too far. What you did would have been great had you not had that runner at first. Uh, but again, with other runners, you need to be aware that they exist. Vinny, good job on that play. Uh, you did a good job running to the 45-foot line or you know, maybe just to the third base side of that. Uh, we talked about before making sure you get set for those plays. There was no play on that one, uh, but nice job. And again, good job learning there. Got on the right side of the field, knowing that R3 is probably going to score. You could probably get even further than that on that particular play. Um, but that was a good job getting to the first base side of the diamond for that play at first since it was pretty obvious there wasn't going to be a play at third or at the plate on that. Vinny, we just got some shots of you in your uh, set position when you're getting ready for a pitch to be delivered on the bases with no runners on base. You should always be either hands on knees or uh, in like a standing set position, bent over and locked in on the on the plate. Remember that you're still responsible for check swings and helping out on, fair, uh, on foul balls around the box. And you should be in a good athletic position. Standing with your hands on your hips is uh, is not an acceptable way to uh, appear before the ball is put in play. So once the pitcher's on the mound and a delivery is imminent, you should be either hands on knees or in a standing set. All right, Vinny, we're going to take a look at some of your, uh, some of your base work here. Uh, again, as I mentioned before, you need to get set for every pitch. So. Uh, standing hands on hips is not an okay way to to be standing when you're getting ready for a pitch to be delivered. So we should be hands on knees now uh, as he's getting ready to, del to deliver or at least, you know, taking a step in and, you know, showing awareness to the ball being delivered to the plate. Uh, the other comment that I'll make, uh, and I'll talk to you about this a little bit afterwards too, is that when the first baseman is that far in as he is now, you can see he's pretty much even with the base. You want to creep up with him. Um, it's important to 
to focus on your starting position no matter where you are. So when we're in the when we're in the middle of the field, we want to focus on starting position for our quickest possible play. So we're talking pickoffs or maybe steal plays, back picks from the catcher. Uh, with nobody on base, our quickest possible play is a line drive trap uh, to the first baseman. Um, plate umpire's got a lot of stuff going on, so it would be good if you could be, I'm going to say, four or five steps closer to first base, uh, about 10 to 12 feet behind the first baseman. As he comes off the line, if he's more towards second base, it's permissible to get even closer to him so that you have a good look at that line drive trap and you can help out the plate umpire as he's kind of far away, doesn't have a great look. Um, standing where you are now, if a guy catches a ball right in front of him, it's going to be pretty tough to to see around his body to see whether he trapped or caught the ball. Um, additionally, it's shorter distance to run when the ball gets hit and you have to pivot. Uh, or to run right now. So, you know, put yourself in the best possible position uh, to see the quickest possible play. So whenever you're starting position, think about what is my quickest possible play. You've done a pretty good job with other starting positions. You can even take a step back. You're kind of close to the mound here, but uh, I don't mind being aggressive that way. It's good for pickoffs as long as you feel, uh, as long as you feel comfortable. When you're on the bases, react to where the baseball goes. Nothing can happen without the ball. So in that situation, we had a runner fake a throw, or a fielder fake a throw, and the runner faked to first base. And you were turning with the play that wasn't happening to second base. Okay. St if anything, if you think a guy's going, stand straight up, get ready to move. But there's no reason why you should be running towards second base when the ball's still at the catcher and the guy's going back to first. Um, Another react, react to where the ball is thrown is the key to that. Um, the uh, other thing on that last play is that that was a pretty routine fly ball to center field. Uh, on routine on routine plays, there's no reason to give a catch signal when it's obvious or use that much voice. Okay, save the voice and the catch signal for plays that need selling or need to need to be called. Um, again, here, that there's no throw to second base, and you're facing second base. There's nothing to watch. If anything, glance over your shoulder. Okay, you should be bumping ahead of the runner, so that in case you know the catcher throws the ball away or the ball gets by the catcher, you're ahead of the runner and you can take him into third. Maybe glance to make sure he touches second. Um, but in that situation, we talked about chest to ball. We need to be chest to ball as much as possible. Again, starting position on the third base side is very good. Um, looks like you're about halfway between the pitcher's mound and the cutout. And uh, that's why you've had a good time with steel plays at third base. That's right, Mike. You're there. It's fine. Okay. Where are your responsibilities right now? Your responsibilities right now, you got runners that stopped at first and second, are third, second, and first. Um, for me, you're a little bit close to third there. Uh, I'd like to see in the middle of the working area as you have responsibilities at all three bases. It's okay to cheat a little bit that way, but you know, remember that batter runner at first base is still important too. Getting back to your starting position, you've done a very nice job of uh, reacting to steal plays at third base. You've had a few of them today. Um, so, and that, that goes back to your starting position. You're in a good spot where you can just take a few steps and get a good angle at third base. So keep doing that. That's a, that's a very good thing that will help you see those plays better than some other guys that don't start where you do. I'll also talk to you after the, uh, after the game about your hands on these set on the bases. Um, like to appear a little bit more athletic and uh, ready to move. It almost looks like you're taking a plate stance uh, on the bases. Um, so we'll we'll talk about that a little bit more 
Obstruction. <laughs> okay, again, where you are right now, we've got bases loaded. You're down below the mound. What happens if there's a play back into first there? Okay, we should be right in the middle of the working area, maybe a step or two to the third base side of the working area. But you can't be down below the mound because you're taking yourself out of position for possible plays. Part of the drawback of the two umpire system is that we sort of have to cover ground of four umpires. You know, and in the big leagues, we're using four. They're using four umpires, so you know, you as the base umpire in that situation, you have the, all three responsibilities. So you need to put yourself in a position where you're going to get the best possible look at any play that could develop. Yes, you can use your instincts to get to a certain spot to to you know be maybe a little closer to the most likely play, but you need to do that with the understanding that you're also responsible for the unlikely plays on the bases. Bye-bye. <laughs>